All right, so I'm out here. I'm gonna make sure my bow's all slided in and everything before I head up to Kansas tomorrow. And I'm just kind of giving you a little sneak peek at how I got it set up. I got a square piece of carpet over here that I stand on where everything's already ranged off. I got the 20, 30, and 40 set up kind of staggered. And then I just come out here and I shoot a couple, make my adjustments, and just make sure that I'm on before I go on a hunt. Uh, just to let y'all know, this year I'm shooting the Matthews No Cam. Uh, I got the gold tip arrows, true glow sights. So far, everything's been working for me. Let the time lapse begin. It was a little bit, I can't really tell that the knot didn't light up. I'm gonna go check it out. Uh, I might have to tweak it a little bit. Maybe human error, we'll have to do it twice. Now, before I get too far into 2015, I want to show you guys how me and Kansas have had like a rocky relationship. And last year, we kind of got off on the wrong foot. So real quick, I just want to show you a little bit of uh, how my season went down last year. Uh, that kind of got me, you know, geared up and ready to go for this year. We're up here in Columbus, Kansas. I drove up last night to come and hunt with Matt this morning. Uh, this is my first ever sit in a Kansas stand. And um, I'm pretty excited. I'm going to be here all weekend. And we're just hoping, we're looking for bugs, bugs, bugs. And we're just going to be sitting here and uh, sticking it out. So stay tuned. <laughs> Like we were thinking, maybe everything was moving last night. We just stayed bedded down this morning. Um, I mean, it's called hunting for a reason. It's not killing. So, no sweat off our back. We just keep at it. I'll be here for two more days. Let's get it done, man. Let's get it done. That's all I can say. As you can see, first hunt in Kansas. But, you know, we can't give up. Uh, it's hunting, it's hard, and we just gotta stick with it. We know that if we stay on the grind, something's gonna come together. It's just a matter of time. You guys saw me hunt this morning with Matt Fryer. It was a bust, but we kind of were thinking that they're gonna be moving in the afternoons to the evenings. Um, it's unusually hot here, but we're sticking with it, and um, it's hunting. I mean, this is what's going down. This is what's going down. We've been 
getting skunk so far because there's a big time weather change, man. Last week it was like 40 something degrees and now we're like in the 80s. So <clears throat> I'm here. Matt Fryer's running the camera on a piece of property that he's been hunting for a couple years. Um, there's a couple bucks that they want to try to get taken off here. And you just gotta sit tight and see what happens. It's real windy, so we'll find out. This was our Madison grunt call, and I mean, she came, she beelined it right in. We have a little corn pile here, she ate there for a while. She's like about six yards away from us, but it's not what we're coming for, so she she got a pass today. But she comes messing around like that later on. Well, several hunts later, still zip, zero, nada, zilch. And, uh, I'm just sitting here starting to wonder, should I have left Texas? You know, maybe uh, maybe Kansas just doesn't love me. Now, just when you think nothing else can go wrong, here we are. It's the last day for me to hunt in Kansas. After this, I go home. It's do or die time, now or never. We wake up extra early because we know we're gonna be out there all day long. We have gotta give ourselves the opportunities. And when we get outside, we notice that there is a serious chill in the air. One more day. All the pressure's on Fryer, man, to get me on a monster. And when I say monster, I mean anything. I went back to 2008 launch. Yeah, I mean, it came down hard. I mean, there's snow everywhere. We're hunting hard, man. That's all we can do. Well, that was a quick look at uh, me and Kansas's rocky relationship last year, and the only thing that almost died was probably me and Matt freezing to death in the tree. Um, other than not getting to shoot a buck, the trip was great. I stayed with Matt and Ashley, and it was awesome. I am driven even harder now because I want to get out there in 2015 and get it done, since 2014 was a little bit of a bust, and 2015 is upon us, so let's see what I can do. What's up, everybody? Um, head up to Kansas on my first trip this year. Uh, gonna hook up with Matt and Skip up there. We're gonna be leaving early in the morning. It's like 10 o'clock tonight. Big storm just blew in. I'm down here in Texas. Um, gonna be drive through it in the morning, probably. Uh, I was gonna film myself loading up the truck, but it's pouring rain, so... I'll try to get as much footage as I can, but I'm gonna be headed up to Matt's, uh, getting some decent bucks on the trail cameras, and we're hoping that everything comes together. And if not, I'll be coming back later on this season.
Oh, what's up? I made it. It was a long drive, lots of rain, lots of storms. Uh, swung by Bow Hunter 1, picked up some stuff, got in the back. Let's go unload this and get ready, baby. Why can't you just use the door? Grim Reaper broadheads, watch them drop. All right, so I got here tonight and we're gonna go hunt in the morning. I'm looking at the trail camera pictures from this spot we're gonna be going to. There's quite a few does on here, but there's still, there's several bucks. We got one right here. There's a couple bucks that we definitely are down to shoot. All right, we made it here through the storm. We drove all day in the rain. I got to Matt's. We got organized last night. Looked at a bunch of trail cam pictures. Uh, saw three bucks that were willing to take if they come in. And this morning, number one in Kansas. So let's try to get it done. We just climbed out of the stand. Uh, we waited just like 15 minutes. I saw him drop. I don't know if Kent, Matt got it on the camera. Uh, we just got down. We took off some of our safety harnesses and stuff. We're gonna make sure everything's good to go before we have to back out or anything. So let's do this. He's right there. I knew I saw him drop. He went down and he stayed down. The first morning here, setting a stand that <clears throat> I don't think anyone's hunted out of since Matt set it up. And uh, we looked at trail cam pictures last night and looked at all the different bucks. And this buck wasn't even on there. So we're sitting there this morning. Some does came in real early. He came in <clears throat> right behind him. Uh, we tried to get a shot on him right then, but things didn't work out. He left. Uh, I thought that it was over for the day. I thought he was gone and then lo and behold bam he showed back up he was over there making a scrape and Walked right in Matt whispered to me 30. I put a 30 yard pin on him and wham So we found the deer he did drop where I thought we recovered him got him back to the house set him up took pictures We're excited hearts are pounding tears are flowing to get him to the processor, get back. I had a great trip in Kansas. I'm so happy that 2015 worked out. Erase 2014 from the books. I'm 
as of now going forward, I've killed a buck in Kansas, and I couldn't be more happy. Thank you, Matt. Thank you, Ashley, for letting me come to y'all's house, stay up there, and shoot a deer on your property. I appreciate it, and I'm, 2015 was a great year for me. Thank you.